So welcome everyone to your shorter weightlifting session. Today, we're gonna to be really focusing mainly on legs. Of course, we're incorporating the whole body because we always do, but mainly kind of leg lifting today. And I'm gonna suggest a loop band. I have a pretty thick uh, loop band. These are really nice. It's a cloth loop band, so it doesn't slide. If you don't have a loop band, a flex band is okay. You can also leave it out. And then also we're working legs here today. So um, heavier weights, anywhere from five up to 20 or even heavier. So you wanna increase your weight over time, but let's get a good warm up first. Loop band off to the side, feet nice and lined up. Your whole alignment of your body makes a really big difference, starting from the feet all the way up. So feel that about hip distance apart, nice and parallel arms to the side, and let's exhale your air out, draw up on the pelvic floor, fire up towards the navel right away and feel your shoulders go back and down. Big breath, arms sweep out and up. Give me a big inhale, keep your deep core connected and then exhale, grow tall, press through the feet and lengthen through the crown of the head a little quicker. Inhale, let's lift and exhale we'll lower down one more we're going to add a squat to these arm lifts in just a moment here we go as your arms go up stick your tail out and let's take a big breath there inhale drive your feet down as you exhale circle down and around keep going inhale exhale pulling up on the pelvic floor and drawing the navel to the spine throughout the movement Inhale, generous reach through the arms. Exhale, six more. Now, as you're moving here, think of being more on your heels. So I'll suggest even lifting your toes here. So you really are connecting to the back body and getting that co-contraction between back of the legs and the quadriceps. So not so much pressure through the knees. Three more. Inhale, exhale, grow tall two more, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, stand tall, circling the shoulders back. We're going to do a little bit of a march here. So just start to lift one knee and we'll just do opposite arm, two leg as we're kind of getting used to standing on one foot. And I'll also suggest pushing through your feet and then making that as big as feels okay for you pulling the navel back towards the spine and about 15 more. Keep breathing, keeping the pelvic floor lifting, navel the spine, hug your ribs in and down and big breaths, eight and seven and six and five, four, three, two, and last one. Nice job. Let's go ahead and we will start moving. So just a little bit of a warm up here. Now let's go ahead and slip your band on over your legs. So you can have a seat to do this. Don't lose your balance, please. Yeah. And then coming up right above the knees. Yeah, and then you can actually take it up higher to make it easier or lower to make it harder, but never really below the knees. We'll just take it right at the end of the of the um, femurs and then let's go ahead and grab your heavy weights and we will start yeah so you want a good stretch to the band so maybe a little bit wider than hip distance and, and then grabbing a hold of the weights with all 10 fingers so you want to work your grip strength here We're not working so much upper body or moving the arms but you definitely want to feel this and so you have to actively pull your shoulder blades back and down and feel the connection of shoulder girdle in order to support the weight. You wanna feel your underarm muscle. Now take an exhale here, draw up on the pelvic floor, feel that connection of the band and the outer hips. Now also lift up through the toes. You can actually float the toes off so your weight is through your heels. Let's inhale, go into your squat, press out on the band and exhale. Now, when I say press out on the band, you don't wanna do anything funky with your feet. You still wanna be on the inner edge of the foot equally to the outer edge of the foot, but you want your legs to be wide enough so you feel that connection to the band. Exhale to come up. We're inhaling down. Exhale, grab those weights with all 10 fingers, work in your grip strength and feel that connection up to the shoulder girdle. Five more here, inhale, 
exhale. Nice long spine as you're going into your squat. Exhale. And three. And up. And two. And up. Hopefully you're getting warmed up. Inhale. And exhale. Now hold it here. Now we're going to do a kind of an alternating kind of pattern here. And so you'll go into your squat. Now you're going to shift your body weight over to your left leg. Yeah. And just come right, uh, light on that opposite leg. So I'm just kind of on the ball of my foot. Now come back through your squat and we're going to go to the other side. So you're going to inhale, exhale, stand up with one leg. Now go back down on two legs. Inhale, exhale, stand up on one leg. Keep your shoulder blades back and down. Don't let the weights pull you around or don't, <laughs> don't get pulled around by the weights. Yeah. Four, inhale, exhale. Now the band is keeping you honest. Don't let your knees fall in, keeping your knees out over the toes as you're going into kind of that one-legged stand here. And stay on your heels. I kind of have my toes lifted off here, particularly going into the squat and up and let's take about four more here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale. Get ready for a little kind of challenge. Inhale. Good. Now come over onto your right leg and stay there. Now be as light as you can on that left leg. One legged squat. Inhale. Now drive that heel down and stand. Eight. Inhale, stretch the band apart. Don't let your knees fall in. Seven. And six. Keep those scapula on your back. And six. Nice. Well done. Inhale. Drive that heel down. Five. Inhale. Keep light on those toes. Four. Stand your ground with that one leg. Three. Get ready for some pulses at the bottom. Two. Now hold it here, wherever that is for you. Shoulders back and down. Pulse. Eight. Seven. Six. Be back on that heel. Five. Grip those weights. Four. Deepen your core. Three two, one, come up, stand on both feet, shift your body weight. Here we go. One legged squat. We got eight of them and up different leg, different story. It's a fine. If it's not as deep, stay in the glutes, stay on that back heel. That was three. Inhale, exhale, four, connect to the shoulder girdle here. And exhale, five. Can you still feel your pelvic floor to navel? Navel to spine. Six, shoulder blades on your back. And heavy on that supporting heel. Seven. Good. Let's do one more here. Get ready for a hold. Here we go. Little pulses down. Knees over the toes. Press into that band. Two. And three. And four and five, and six, seven, last one, eight, stand tall. Good. We're going to hang on to both weights for a stationary lunge. We got this. Put it down if you need to for a moment. Good. But let's see if we can find our positions. And so I have my left leg forward, right leg back. Good. Pull the navel in, square your pelvis off, shoulders back and down. Good. Now be on your front heel. So lift your front toes up and you're obviously on your back ball of the foot. Lift that back heel up. Here we go. Straight down and up. Inhale. Exhale. Feel the glutes on both sides. Inhale. Exhale. Stand your ground, not only in the feet, but the shoulder blades too. Don't let the weights pull your shoulders down too much. Feel those shoulder blades in the back. There's four. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Feeling the whole front of the body, that kind of pelvic floor to navel, navel to spine. 
There are six ribs hug in and down and seven and eight and nine. Hold your last one. Shoulders back, eight little pulses. Go down, seven. Can you squeeze your glutes? Six, five, chin in, four, squeeze the weights. Three, two, last one. Bring that leg in, other side right away. Yes, we got this. <laughs> right onto the front of that front heel. Square your pelvis off, navel to spine, shoulders back. Here we go, straight down. Inhale, straight up. We got 10. Inhale, exhale. Be on the front heel, lift your front toes a little bit, but the band is keeping us honest as far as keeping our glutes working here, getting that nice even connection between front and back of the legs. You're at five and down and six. Good, find your core, keeping it connected, seven. Shoulders back and ribs in, eight, inhale, exhale, nine. Here we go for our hold on that front heel, eight, got to feel the burn, seven, squeeze your glutes, six, pull the navel back, five, and four, and three, and two, and last one coming up and putting a weight down. Well done. We're going into a crush grip. Now we're going to put the squat and the lunge together. And so we're going to start with a squat and then we'll step back and alternate sides. So crush grip right at your chest here. And it's a little bit of a squeeze in. So you feel your underarm muscles strongly engage, shoulders back and down. All right, exhale your air out, pull the navel in. Let's go into your squat, inhale. Now stand tall, now step back with your left foot and find your lunge, go down into your lunge. And then coming up squat, we're gonna go to the other side. Inhale, exhale, step back, lunge. Inhale, exhale, inhale, crush the grip. And let's step back, just alternating sides. Inhale and exhale, finding your balance, reaching side, nice straight spine, reaching back and straight spine, tail back, shoulder blades back. Be on that front heel, lifting the toes. Be on both heels and stepping back. Nice. Six more down and to step back. That's one. Wide, down, step back. That's two. Let's breathe. Inhale down, exhale. Inhale down, exhale, and I'm thinking four more, and down, and three, step back, stretch that band out, and two, and to stretch, and one, definitely getting tired in the legs. Hopefully you are too. Well done. We are going to finish with a hinge pattern here and then take it down to the mat. And so you're going to be on the left leg. Kickstand your right foot back. So you want to feel a gentle kind of stretch of the band. Yeah, so in that kickstand position. So you have most of your weight on, I have my most of my weight on my left leg. Right leg is kickstand back just for balance. Nice. Now take the weight to the side as you, as you stand tall. Feel that shoulder girdle. Good. Soften that left knee. We are hinging. 
And you're just gonna take the, the weight forward, turning the palm in, reaching for that foot, and then use the glute and the hamstring to come right back up. Now lift those toes up a little bit so you're more on the heel. Inhale, hinge, and exhale. Opposite arm can be on your hip or out to the side, whatever works for you. I'm gonna keep my hand on my hip today. And exhale, good, engaging the glutes. Inhale, keep the stretch on the band. So as you're going down, you might have to press that right knee out to the side ever so slightly. Inhale, exhale. So really feeling that left side. Inhale, glutes and hamstrings lengthen, but then they pick you up. So you're moving from the back of the leg, controlling your hinge. You're at six. Exhale. And seven. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Deepen your core. So feeling that lift of the pelvic floor to navel. Navel the spine. And here's nine. And I think I'm pretty close. Ten of them. Here we go. Last one. And exhale. Let's do that on the other side. So on that right leg or on your opposite leg and kickstanding that left foot back, keeping that stretch on the band. Exhale, shoulder back and down, drawing the navel in and up. Here we go. Softening that right knee and then hinge. You got to keep your back straight here to protect your lumbar spine, really the whole spine. And so going down only as far as you can keep that. Try not to tuck under. So you may not go down as far if you got tighter hamstrings. It's fine. Doesn't matter. We're working glutes and hamstrings here. Inhale and exhale. There's four. Inhale. Really important. We keep those shoulder blades on your back as you're doing that hinge. You actually have to actively feel those muscles as you're going down as well as the core. Keep pulling in, inhale and exhale. We got four more. Being heavy on that front heel or the heels, you're kind of lifting those toes up. Here's our last two, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. We're going to the mat for some bridging, and then have your heavy weights handy as we're getting down here. Good, so coming down into your all fours, or kind of lunge position if you like, and then transitioning through. And then just go ahead and lay on your side and roll yourself down. Nice, so band. Anywhere along the thighs, I'm going to slide it down just a little bit. Now, using whatever heavy weight that you have, but when you're lifting it up here in this position, be really careful. Yeah, so you don't want to have your shoulders up. So connect through the shoulders, lift one weight, pass it, good, and have the other weight. Make sure the shoulders and the core are working, and then weights on your hips if you'd like, or one weight. Bring your heels pretty close to the back of the hips and let's connect here. <laughs> yeah, so this is pretty heavy weight along with a band. So you wanna press the band out. So make sure you have that connection. And then make sure that you're pressing down through the inner and the outer edge of the feet, as well as through the center of the heel. Slide your shoulders down, long neck, look straight up at the ceiling, give me an inhale. Now exhale, thrust your hips up in the air, pick those weights up and squeeze your glutes. Now inhale, tap it down. We're not gonna roll. Yeah, keep your spine long like we just did in our hinge. Exhale, squeeze the glutes and lift. Inhale, now press through the center of the heel. Even here, you can lift your toes up so you really feel those back legs or the hamstrings and the glutes. Exhale, there's four, we're going to 10. Now draw the navel in and up. One, good. That's five, good. Keep your ribs connected. Six, ribs stay connected as you lower. Deepen your core. Seven, inhale. Exhale. Eight, should feel this by now. Exhale. Nine, 
One more, you're going to hold it here at the top. Drive your heels down. Press out in the band, little pulses up. 10. Now don't let it go. Try to go higher, but hug your ribs in and down. Slide your shoulders down. And you're at four. Lift your toes up just a little bit. Five, six, hot abs. Seven, and eight, and nine. And then last one on 10. Set that down. Well done. Weights are off to the side. Good. So just go ahead and take them off. Nice. Excellent. Now we're going to roll ourselves up to a seated position and work a little bit on the front of the legs. Yeah, so um, stretch your legs out. And then in this position, you don't want to be in a rounded position. So you want to be up and the fingertips are back. Now, if this doesn't work for you, because we're going to be lifting one leg and then the other, you can always come down a little bit more or actually down onto your forearms. Yeah, so straight spine, draw the navel in and up, navel to spine. Now reach generously through your heels. You're straightening your knees as much as possible. Yeah, so inhale. Now press down through that right leg and float your left leg up, but without rounding. Tap it down. Inhale 10 times. Exhale. Shoulders back and down. Two. Exhale. Three. And four. You definitely want to feel the front of the thigh. Hip flexor is working. Six. You'll feel the front of the hip. Seven. But reach generously through that heel and keep your leg straight. Eight. And nine, we're just doing 10. We're gonna, well, on this, on this round, and then put that side down, right leg, exhale, it's a different leg. Slide your shoulders back and down, open the chest, two, deepen your core, three. Can you pull your navel in a little bit more? Four, I think I can, five, and six, both legs super active, even the left leg that you're not moving. Good, eight, nine, and 10, put your right leg down, lift your left leg, stretch it to the side, bring it in, tap it down, same leg, inhale, stretch, good, shoulders back and down, inhale, and out, exhale, in and down, inhale, out, inhale, we're going eight, this is four more, inhale, and reach, Good, you should feel a burn, it's hard. Good, now press down through that right leg. Good, and deepen your core. Try not to sink into the shoulders. And one more, I'm definitely shaking a little bit. There's what you want, yeah. Down other side, we got this. Inhale, exhale, and in and down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale in, tap down. Try to keep that stretch to the band, even when you're tapping down. Nice. This is four. And down. Definitely should feel it. Five. Good. If not, maybe you need an ankle weight. <laughs> and six. We got two more after this. Seven. Back is still straight. And navel's pulling in. Yes. Eight. Good job. Okay, we're going to work the other side of the leg. Good. We're coming into kind of hamstring curls. Good. So we're going to um, try this. Take one weight. I'm using a 10-pound weight here. Um, I'm going to go on my stomach. So we're all going to go on our stomach. And you want to adjust it. So the weight is typically really far back on the mat, kind of depending on your leg length. And then you're going to flip around on your stomach, and we're going to grab it with the soles of our feet. It's gonna be like a goblet hold with your feet. Yeah. Okay, so let's see how we do here. So finding that, and then just feel the grab with your feet and then let's set up the rest of the body. So stack your hands on top of each other, foreheads on your stacked hands. Now you're gonna try and vacuum seal your hips to the mat. So let's find that. Got tighter hip flexors, it might not exactly go. Yeah, and then the knees will be apart here. So you want to kind of stretch the band apart. And now pull the navel in and up. Slide your shoulders down. Here we go. Exhale. Let's bend the knees. Pick that weight up. And then inhale. We can tap it down or down to a hover. Exhale. Press your hips down as you're lifting. 
It's a hamstring curl. Press down with the hips, deepen your abs. So think of pulling the abs away from the mat and then sliding the shoulders down. Exhale. We're at four, go into 10. Exhale, five. Inhale. Exhale, six. Keep those glutes working, abs working. Seven, shoulders out of the ears. Relax, jaw. Eight, inhale. Exhale, nine. Inhale. Exhale on 10. Well done. Put that weight down. It doesn't matter if it falls. <laughs> That's great. We're going to flip on over to your side, come up onto your forearm. Good. Done with the weights. Here we are going to work our side hips here for a little endurance on your forearm. Lift through your bottom waist, hand behind your head, press your head back elbow slightly forward. Here we go. We're going to inhale, exhale, lift your hips, lift your top knee, and then lower down. Nice. So you might need to adjust your feet back a little bit. Now you want to squeeze that bottom glute. So you don't want to torque the knee by just pressing into that bottom knee. Both glutes have to work, particularly that bottom glute. And then the top glute will just automatically <laughs> engage. We're going to 10. That was three. Now make sure you got a good connection to your shoulder girdle. You feel that under our muscle. Exhale, four. And down. Now you're pressing your hips slightly forward. So you got a long line between knees and crown of the head. And then they sit back to lower. That was five. Exhale, six. Inhale. Exhale. Seven, pressing head and hand together. No tension in the neck or jaw. Eight, exhale. Nine, one more. Let's hold it at the top. Exhale, little pulses. Ten, nine, squeeze your hips forward. Eight, press the head back. Seven, and slide your shoulders down. Six, excellent. Five, and four and three, and two, and last one, and lower down. Let's flip around to the other side. Nice. And we will set ourselves up on your forearm. Your feet are back behind you. Lift through your waist. Feel that underarm muscle and hand behind your head, elbow slightly forward. Here we go. Inhale, squeeze both glutes, particularly that bottom glute to press yourself up and forward. Inhale, back and down. Exhale. Now make sure you have a good connection to your supporting underarm muscle. That'll keep tension out of the neck and also kind of keep your shoulders safe as well. We're at four. Exhale, deepen your core. Five. Keep pressing the head back. Exhale, six. Inhale. Exhale, seven. And eight. Good. And exhale, really good. Nine. One more. Hold it at the top. Press the head back. Pulse. Ten. Now try not to let the leg go. Nine. Eight. Keep constant tension there. Seven, keep that bottom glute working. Six and five and four, deepen the core. Three, two, last one and lower down. We're going to do a quick stretch here. I'm going to have you take your loop band off. Nice, good. And then we'll come down onto your back. Let's go ahead and loop up. I'm going to start with my left foot. So just take that loop around your left ball of the foot, hanging on to one side and straighten the leg any amount. Now, if you want to, you can straighten the opposite leg out. If it is straight, you know, wherever, if it's bent or straight, push down on the ground. Yeah, so it's active. Uh, and then flex your top foot and pull your leg towards you and stretch. Now you don't want to get to a point where 
your body is fighting you. Yeah, find a place where your central nervous system can actually relax and maybe accept the stretch. And so it doesn't matter where you're at. Okay? So you just wherever that is for you, see if you can breathe, soften your eyes, soften your jaw, and let your central nervous system just let it know that the stretch is okay. Yeah, wherever that is. Nice. Now we're going to do a little ankle circle here. So circle the foot around five times. Exhale, four. Deepen your core, three. Just keeping a connection to the abdominals, two. And last one, reverse. And around, one. Doesn't matter if your knee is bent or straight. You just want to feel that nice connection as well as so mobility in the ankle. Last one. Nice. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So right foot. Now the left foot, if it's, you know, left leg a little different than the other side, keep it bent. See what it feels like as you straighten it out. In either case, you want it to be active, either pushing through the foot or the back of the thigh. Flex the stretching leg, which is my right leg reach through the heel and pull and find a position where you're not fighting it. I mean, you definitely want to feel a stretch, but you don't want to feel, you know, so tense that your central nervous system is just, you know, fighting it. Just let everything go. It's okay to have the knee bent a little bit and reach. Good. Let it that relax. And breathe. Let's go ahead and circle the ankle around five times. And four big breaths just to cool down. Three and two. Nice. Last one. Let's reverse. And around one and two. Exhale. Three and four. Four and last one on five. Very good. Let's put everything down. Roll over to your side. I'll meet you in a standing position. I'm going to suggest coming through all fours. Push yourself back on your feet. Roll yourself up to standing. Nice. And let's see how our legs feel after that. Hip distance apart, connecting through the core. Hopefully you're standing a little bit taller. Let's just take a big breath here. Inhale, exhale, circle down and around, circling the shoulders out. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day.